so this is the data sheet for the controller which I am using and uh, on the first page uh, tells that what peripherals are included in this particular SOC so as you can see there are seven timers and uh, up to nine communication interfaces which includes two I square C three USARTs two SPIs CAN 2.0 B which uses 29 bit identifier that's pretty cool it's a, it's the cheapest controller which uses arm core and it supports can 2.0 b uh, interface and usb 2.0 full speed interface so i would say this is the pretty good controller to use for the small automation and also it's very powerful and it has uh, 64 kb of flash memory in my uh, uh, version it is 64 KB and 20 K kilobytes of SRAM so shall we start okay so first we have to go with the bus architecture so this is the system architecture for this particular SOC as you can see uh, our bus matrix we have to deal with the GPIOC so we have to enable clock for uh, GPIOC so that we will see how we have to enable the clock for the GPIOC as it is connected to APB2 bus uh, with the bridge 1 and uh, that bridge 1 is connected to the AHP bus the advanced uh, high speed bus and this is our reset and clock control which is the RCC uh, from there you can control clock for the system so let's see what clock options we have in this development board okay so here we have yeah so here we have 8 megahertz of crystal for the controller and also 32 kilohertz crystal for the real-time clock but we are today we are not gonna deal with the real-time crystal so we will deal with the uh, 8 megahertz system clock so let's proceed so now we have to go with the register organization but before we go to the register organization we have to look into the memory map of this controller so this is the memory organization for this controller which tells in the address space region which peripheral is where so this is the most important topic to understand uh, when you are dealing or when you are writing code from scratch then you have to understand the memory map of the controller so our GPIO C starts from hex 4001 to hex 4001 13FF so this is the region where all the registers for port C lie in this region and also we have to deal with the RCC the reset and clock control so let's go ahead so these are the other peripherals like user 1 user 2 i2c timer rtc etc so let's look for the rcc registers because we are gonna deal with the rcc and we have to know how we can enable clock for the particular peripheral so as we have seen from the bus architecture that the GPIOC is connected to the APB2 bridge so let's see yeah 
yeah one more thing for the base address for the particular uh, registers you have to go to the data sheet yeah this is the typical bus matrix which is pretty clear to see how we can enable clock for the particular peripheral so my clock will come from here and here it will be AHB bus and on the APB2 it is GPIOC so let's see the base addresses yeah so these are the memory map this is this is the memory map for the controller which tells that uh, which control uh, which peripheral lies where so this is my RCC base reset and clock control which starts from hex 4002100 so I'll get base addresses from the data sheet and the offset addresses for the particular register from the reference manual so I have already created one project project which uh, explains these 